Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. So, as you guys may or may not have seen yesterday, um, I did a couple of co-op videos with Life Adventures of Christian. At the end of the uh, live video, the one that was put up at around 1.15, he did something that I wasn't expecting. He wanted to say one last thing, and I was like, you know what? I'll let you finish up the video for that. And I did. What he talked about, though, got me thinking. And, well... <laughs> when I think it can sometimes be dangerous, but in this case... Beneficial is probably the better term. I started thinking about how important it is to have others like that around. And I've talked about this in a sense before. And I don't mean as friends or anything. I guess to reiterate, there are people out there who you'll always find who are like enemies. Or people who were friends who kind of degraded to being acquaintances instead. Or people who were friends but then kind of just became nothingness. Or those who were in relationships and just turned out to be somebody you used to know. One thing, one pattern that I've always found in myself, and this is what Christian really got me thinking about, is that regardless of the person or what they've done, to enable whatever the circumstances with me, I've always felt at least each individual one deserved the mindset of, I wish the best for you. Even those who are tur have turned into enemies for me, I've always figured that is the best way to treat someone. And that's just on me. That's my, that's my opinion of it, but ever since I started thinking that after what Christian said yesterday, the emphasis on that mindset has grown more and more and more. And it's become more relevant to me, especially since I have multiple people who have been part of my life before, or who are part of my life now, who this could implement in a very positive way if the person was willing to listen. And it's kind of sad how most of those who I come across aren't. But at the same time, it's like, well, we've done what we can, the rest is on them. This is kind of the, these are faintly the thoughts that went through my head while Christian was talking yesterday. The advice he gave as well was very gentle and very true, in a way. Well, no, they were just true. And if it were me going through the situation that the person he was referring to was going through, then I probably would have listened. I don't know if they did or not, and I'm not going to say who it is, out of their own privacy, for their own sake, but at the same time, it's like, I don't know. However, one thing I do know is that the one thing that always seems to emphasize on this kind of stuff the most are those people who surround you, who try to push you to do your best. Try to push you to get to that point of success. They're ignored and you're basically pushing what I've experienced personally to a degree that's just not necessary. And I've seen that time and time again happen. Do I still wish the best amongst those who do it? Of course. Will I always? Yeah, but will I be a part of it? No. That's something that I really started thinking about the more that Christian talked yesterday. And he took over. He ended the video, as I said he could. When he did, though, even after that, my brain kind of just went on this loop of, you know, 
treat the others well, but don't approach them if they're not going. Don't reach your hand out to them if they're not going to take it. That amount of personification really kind of hit me hard when I thought that line. I didn't say it to Christian. We had to go our separate ways because of at what time it was that night. It was actually the well, last night. It was actually midnight when we actually parted ways. So, it was what it was. But regardless, what I say is the case. I thought of this stuff for hours. Couldn't get to sleep until like 2 in the morning. So, you know. Or at least I think it was. It felt like it. Maybe it wasn't, but it definitely felt like it. But in regards to that, I did want to throw this out there. I felt like what I'm saying right now needed to be said. Big shout out to Life Adventures of Christian for all of his motivational uh, statements he makes on the videos he does. For being on the channel yesterday at the request of you guys yourself, actually. Um, I do plan on doing this. Maybe not all the time, but definitely at least every now and then. Because, again... Christian has a life, Aaron has a life, Pink Fox has a life. I'm going to refer to it like that for now unless stated otherwise. Just, you know, because I think she said she wanted to change her channel name to that anyway. She doesn't have any content on that right now, but I feel like, I think she said she wanted to. Anyway, I digress. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, push that like button and so far you can't say it anymore. If you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. Also, that thud you heard, yeah, that's just microphone used by the Logitech camera I'm using. <clears throat> if you want to check out Christian's channel for the stuff that I was listening before, click the link in the description below alongside the link to my Patreon and the channel that I run as well. If you want to support in any kind of degree, at least please check out the channel links. Um, in the meantime, though, Click the links on the side of my head if you want to check out more live stuff like this one. If you missed anything, some of them are kind of outdated, other ones are more like kind of mental thought. And then the last of the few would be like about me specifically, about my past. Or if you want to check out any gaming stuff that I do, check out the channel itself. In the meantime though, I'm going to head off. Thank you guys once again for watching this video, and I hope to see all of you in another one. Bye for now.